Hello, this is the week four cha grader uh, project on Excel. Okay, so the first, make sure you save it uh, in a location that you can find, okay, in the correct way. Then type current average in cell F1. Then type new average in J1. Okay, then in F2, we're going to use the average function to compute the average of the cell range C2 to e E2. Okay, so we can use the function here and then find average say okay and then it sometimes will think for you and, and, and grab what you need c2 to e2 we'll say okay and there it is okay now for the new average is g2 to a2 this one let's use the actual uh, uh, manually say equals average and you must type out average you cannot, there is no abbreviation. And then it is from new one to new three. So G, uh, G2 to G3, uh, I3, then hit enter, and there it is. So that's the two ways to get the average. Okay, so we got the average. Now the next thing we will do is to select uh, F2 and go down to the fill handle, click and hold and drag it down and it'll do a relative calculation of all these fields for you. But as you notice, the numbers are kind of like scattered all over the place as far as formatting and we'll take care of that later. Now we're going to do the same thing for the new average side. We want to calculate all of this and we're going to do this relatively. So I am going to use the fill handle, click and hold, drag it all the way down and we got all the answers here. Okay, so now that it says for step five, select the cells in C2 through J13. So C2, click and hold on C2 and go through J13. And then what do we want to do? We want to um, format the cell contents with number format with one decimal place. So we're going to go number and decrease decimal. And there it is. Another way we could have done this is we could have highlighted it all. Right click, go format cells, and then go number, number, and pick one decimal place as it is here. I'm just going to cancel all of that for now. So now we have it all formatted nicely with one decimal place. So step six, six says uh, select cell A2. Emerge and center uh, across cells A2 and A5. So I'm going to click and hold, go to A5, and then I'm going to merge and center. So that would be right here. Okay, now the formatting will continue a little bit further. It says, and then adjust the orientation of the text to rotate text up 90 degrees. Okay, so again, the easiest way to do this is to right click inside the cell, make sure it's still highlighted, go format cells and then alignment then we'll ch take cells and, and align it up 90 degrees just like that okay then adjust orientation of the text to rotate to 90 degrees then middle align cell contents and uh, bold text so keep that high, uh, highlighted and we want to middle align so we have to find middle align which is this and then we want to bold it which is this Okay, then we want to use a format painter to copy these formats to cells A6 and A10. So make sure it's still highlighted. Then double click on the format painter and click on cell A6 and then A10. Oh, the formatting fell off, so I'm going to have to go back to where I want to copy the format from. Click on the format painter and click on cell A10. Okay, that completes step seven. Let's go to eight.
Okay, so it says to select cell range A2 through J5. A2 through J5. Then apply the thick box border. So now we're going to apply some more formatting. So let's see, where would that be? So we go into the font. These are the box, uh, uh, all the border formatting. So, and uh, we want the thick outside border. So I will click on that. Okay. And then we want to repeat uh, with cells uh, range A6 through A J9. Nine, which we've done, then uh, A10 through J13. So A6 through J9. And we want to keep that thick. And then we could keep the uh, formatting, uh, use the format painter too, and then use that down here also. There it is. Okay, it also says to select range F1 through F13 and then apply the same thing again. So F1 through F13. Then apply the thick outside borders. And then also with J1 through J13. So we got A2 through J5, A6 through J9, and A10, J13, F1, F13, and J1 through J13. That completes step 9. Now I'm on step 10. It says to select uh, J2 through J13. Then create a conditional rule using the less than f formatting cells that are less than box. Okay, so this might be a little bit different in the different ones, but go to conditional formatting. Pick the top one. That'll get you into the less than rule. Then right here, there's an uh, important point. It says to be sure to enter this as a relative reference, which means you do not want to see the dollar sign show up. So just type this in as equals F2. Make sure there's no dollar signs here. And then uh, instead of the red text, go ahead and click on uh, the green field with a dark uh, text. Then say OK. Then it also says to set up the rule to format the cells with the color green accent 6 lighter 60%. Uh, then the font color green accent 6 darker. OK, so we'll keep this highlighted. Let's see, and we're going to go into styles. I really can't tell just by looking at this. I'm going to click on the down arrow here and then uh, then go to the new cell style. Oh, we can't find it here either. So the easiest thing to do here is to uh, go here, go to the font color. And if you kind of look at the greens and keep pointing at it, there's a green accent six darker 25. And there's the darker 50. OK. So we're going to step 11. It says create a clustered bar chart using the ranges B1, B13, F1, F13, J1, and J13. So the th first thing we still have to do is to highlight what we want to get into the bar chart. So let's go do B1 through B13. I'm going to hold the shift key, uh, control key down, B1 through B13. The control uh, key is still held, held down. Then F1 through F13. And then J1 through J13. OK. And then I want 
to create a chart so it's going to be like a insert formatting kind of fell off so i'm going to do it one more time i'm going to hold the control key down okay there it's all set up then i'm going to do an insert and then i'm going to go through the recommended charts and what do we want here we want a clustered bar okay so if we can't really tell up here it's actually this one right here is the bar chart but if you can't tell click on this bottom arrow here and then uh, go into all charts and then you could find a bar chart here and here's the uh, clustered bar it's highlighted we'll say okay right there okay so that's the chart that they recommend i'm going to put this down here from like a 16 uh, let's see and it's going to recommend that you stretch it out later but uh, we'll hold off for a second now at this point it wants you to modify the cluster bar chart with the title okay so if you ever want to add anything see this plus right here just click on that or i could have double clicked on the chart title your choice so I, let's try the plus then we want the chart title okay so that's right here i'm going to highlight it and be sure you, you do not make any misspellings here bench mark comparison colon new and current versions of CS software. It took off five points when I forgot of the first time, first time. So please don't do that. Okay. So now we got that in there. Okay. Then it says add a title on the horizontal axis that reads seconds. Let's see if we could get that. So I'm going to highlight the chart, say plus. Then we want the axis titles. Click that. So I am going to come here and type in seconds. Okay. And this one we don't need, so I'm just going to delete that one. Okay. So now it says to resize and, make, uh, and it fits between A16 and, uh, and J34. So that, that's going to be from A16 to J34. So I'm going to stretch this out to, to J34. Okay. Uh, the seconds kind of moved up. Let's move this down a little bit. Make sure it's a four-way plus. Then bring it down. Then it says save the workbook and submit for grading. Thank you.